I would like to take a look at model rocket stability. There's a lot of equations and uh, programs in many sophisticated ways, but I want to get in a, give an intuitive feel. Take a look at a rocket and say, yeah, it'll fly, or maybe you might have this problem. So let's take a look at stability, what gives us stability and what causes it to fail. This is the Alpha rocket that I built. I haven't flown it yet, but there's two factors that determine stability. One of them is the center of balance. Namely, if you balance this on your finger, where's the balance? The other is what's called center of pressure, which is really the aerodynamic forces on it that could make it rotate. Um, if we think about air hitting this from the side, the air is going to hit the front and, and flow right over it. If it hits the back, it's going to catch the fins. So therefore, you're going to have more pressure pushing on the back than you will on the front. So the center of pressure will be farther back. Uh, for a rocket to be stable, the center of pressure needs to be behind the center of gravity. So this is where if the two cross or if they get too close, the rocket can become unstable. This is an alpha rocket. I just put a string on it, swung it around in a circle, and it flies just fine. And by the way, that's the way you can test a rocket very quickly. Put a string on the center of balance, swing it around your head, and it should fly straight. Now, let's take a look at another rocket. This rocket uh, is the high flyer. I've flown this many, many times. Uh, the fins are forward. And that means that the uh, area of the fins, and actually one approximation to the center of pressure is kind of like the shadow, the, the balance of the shadow. So the larger area you have back here casting a shadow, the farther back your center of, of pressure is. But you see the center of pressure is going to be farther forward and with an engine in the back bringing, it, bringing the weight back. This rocket is actually unstable unless you put weight in the nose. So when you build this rocket, it comes with a, a wad of clay and you put the clay in the nose to help balance the rocket. Once you do that, then center of gravity moves forward, and with the fins being forward, uh, the center of pressure is a little bit farther forward, but now it balances out correctly and it will fly and be stable. Take a look at the wizard rocket. Wizard rocket is interesting. It's the same thing as the high flyer, except this does not have a nose weight. The reason it does not have a nose weight is because these fins are swept back, and that brings this shadow farther back. The center of balance ends up farther back, and now we have a stable rocket. So it's interesting, you don't need the nose weight if the fins are swept back a little bit. Uh, this is a custom rocket that I built. It's made to look like the Viking 8 rocket. Um, I built this, this is basically an alpha body and nose cone, and I put the fins on it. Uh, this, this rocket should fly uh, because I got four fins, but it turns out it was slightly on the edge of being unstable. So I had to put one of these little uh, weights in the nose. So I put a string on it, I swung it around, and it flew tail first, but now it flies correctly. And again, we want to put that balance point forward, bring the center of pressure backward, and you'll be ready to fly.